Hello there guys, this is Kai Decadence, and this video is about what I personally like to see for Soul Calibur 6's character creation. Keep in mind, these are just my opinions, and you don't have to agree with them. With that said, here's what I'd like to see. For starters, I definitely like to see some deeper face options. One of the problems I had with Soul Calibur 3 and 4 was that a lot of your characters would look very similar to one another when you chose certain faces. Luckily, in Soul Calibur 5, they allowed you to pick your own eyebrows, which helped a little bit for diversity. But, I feel that if they implemented deeper face options, it would prove useful in making more authentic characters. The best example of games that I can think of that use deep face options are the WWE Wrestling games. Granted, I'm not the biggest fan of the gameplay of them, however, I cannot deny that they have very deep customization options. Frankly, I feel they have the best character creation system I've ever seen in a game on a console, in terms of options. You could practically edit anything. An MMORPG called APB Reloaded had another breathtaking character creation system where you could practically edit anything. Unfortunately, I'm not an MMO player, so I never played this game, but after seeing some video footage of the character creation engine, I would say it's probably one of the best character creation systems I've ever seen for an MMO. Last game I feel that had a decent face editor is Dynasty Warrior 7 Empires. Unlike the WWE games and HB Reloaded, they use simpler face options, but they still get the job done in creating diverse characters. Personally, while I would love for them to go with a WWE or HB Reloaded type system, the one in Dynasty Warriors would be a more practical and simpler approach. I feel that with these kinds of options, it could help bring life to the characters as opposed to them looking like lifeless dolls. While I'm on the subject regarding the head, I'd also like to see some hair options implemented. I think it'd be cool to design your own hairstyle to a certain degree. I have only witnessed this in the Tekken games, more specifically Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2. You first started by picking a base. Then you chose a front. Then you chose sideburns that could represent long hair on the sides or just for some regular sideburns. Likewise, I think an option to control the length of your character's hair be it preset or custom made, would be intriguing to have as well. APB Reloaded did this very well, I think. You could control the length of every part of the hair. Another MO called C9 or Continental the Ninth Seal was another game that allowed you to customize almost any part of the hair you chose. And of course, WWE allowed you to alter hair length with some of their hairstyles though it did have some rather bad clipping issues. Anyway, I think that hair customizing would be a very beneficial addition to the character creation system. As for more hairstyles, they should definitely bring back previous hair from Soul Calibur 3, 4, and Broken Destiny. From Soul Calibur 3, I personally like to see these styles return. From Soul Calibur 4, of course the two player styles like Mitsuruki's Unkempt, Shanghua's Oriental Frame, and Setsuka's Updo. And finally, from Soul Calibur Broken Destiny, Setsuka's Fury Tail, Talon's Priestess Style, Cassandra's Short Ponytail, and Mitsuruki's Low Ponytail. Another interesting thing would be if they had the hair unisex. Soul Calibur Broken Destiny did this with a few hairstyles, and while it did look a little awkward at first, I find that they could work depending on the hair and direction you were going for. In closing, I think that some deeper hair options would bring even more life to the system. I'm really hoping they try the hair customizing the most. Moving on, as far as body modification went, Soul Calibur 5 did a decent job allowing you to customize your character's body. Sure, I think it'd be cool if they did what the WWE games did by letting you customize every part of the body, from the neck down, but it's not really necessary here. The only thing I can think of that would be good for body modification is a neck option, as I noticed that when you make a fat body, their necks look so skinny. Also, I think it would be better if they made body hair into a separate slot instead of counting it as an undergarment. Along with facial hair, I feel they should make it its own slot so we can have so we can give facial hair to our male characters instead of using a preset. Same with scars, they should have a separate slot for them instead of counting them as a tattoo, but that's just me. That concludes part 1 of my video. Please stay tuned for part 2 if you're interested in hearing more of my ideas. 